All right, next up is the next supporting uh, trophy, of course, Best Supporting Actor. Now, this in the past has been known as the scene stealing uh, yeah. award, if you will. Uh, you know, the job of a supporting character is to make uh, your other your star look good. However, it also means scene stealing. We've seen it many times in other movies. That, like, I would say Heath Ledger was necessarily a scene stealer last year, but so as much as he was just outstanding. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I don't think he was trying to steal anything from anybody, yeah. but. Sometimes, yeah, exactly. Sometimes this award just does that. And here are the nominees. Matt Damon for Invictus, Woody Harrelson for The Messenger, Christopher Plummer for The Last Station, Stanley Tucci for The Lovely Bones, and Christoph Waltz for Inglorious Bastards. Kaylee, may I have the envelope, please? You may. Awesome. All right. I think we're going to agree on this Christoph Waltz for Inglorious Bastards. Yes. Yes. He was so good in this film. I didn't really like the film when I first saw it after I thought about it afterwards, and I did, but I loved him through this whole thing. He made, um, like I said this in the For Your Consideration show, but he made an unlikable character lovable. <laughs> you just <laughs> liked watching him, and it's really funny. I, I really think he is going to win this. It's pretty guaranteed. But um, uh, the past couple years, it's always been villains. Last year with Heath Ledger as the Joker, and the year before was Javier Bardem mm -hmm. as, um, um, what was it, Sugar or whatever. Uh, he was. played Anton Sugar yeah, in yeah, No Country, in for, no old country for Old Men. Yes. So the Academy has a, a love-hate relationship with villains, but <laughs> Christoph Waltz definitely deserves this Oscar. He was really, really good. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, here you go. Yeah, Christoph Waltz for Inglorious Bastards. I just really don't think, and, and this is a hard category because the, all the performances here, are, in my opinion, this is probably the best category this year in terms of acting talent. They were all fantastic, mm -hmm. but yet he still, and that, that's just sort of the mark of a great performance, he still stood out above the pack. Yeah. Kind of like Heath Ledger's nomination last year, that all the performances were really good, mm -hmm. but yet he's just stood above in a league of his own, and yeah. Christoph Waltz does that here. This is an award that loves villains, yes. quite frankly, and he, obviously from the last few years, we can see that now. Yeah. And he has, he brings just such an, an eye-catching experience with this character. He, he's an evil, despicable person, yeah. but you and want to so see more funny. of him. He's so funny. <laughs> and that's the thing, too. You want to see more of him. Yeah. He's funny every bit as he is psychotic in this yes, film. Yes, exactly. And this is a guy, and when you see him in real life, when I saw him at the Golden Globes, I'm like, that's the same guy? Yeah, he's so normal. He seems meek. His voice isn't that low. I yeah. mean, he, he just he just seems like a guy you could, you know, just um, have a funny conversation with. Yeah, you know what I mean? Exactly. And, yeah. And a well-respected actor in uh, Austria, in his yeah. native Austria. Yep. Yeah. And he, this is his first North American yeah. um, wide theatrical release. And this congratulations is, to him. This is going to be a, such a blow up for him. He's going to do so well here. Absolutely, absolutely. I just hope he doesn't get typecast as a oh, villain. No. But I think he could do a lot more. Than it, just this. I think if you got the villain down, then you're you're good to go for almost anything else. Yeah, you know, he'll have a chance to show his versatility, and you know, it's 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 good too that he would win it over such big league players. I mean, I would have loved to have seen Christopher Plummer win. Yeah. You know, eighty years old. He, he's the the heartfelt win for me, mm. uh, just because he's Canadian and. You know, I grew up watching him in The Sound of Music and whatever, but like, I just, I would love to see him win just because he's Christopher Plummer, but Christoph Waltz deserves this because of his performance. And, and, and knowing Christopher Plummer's, you know, overall attitude, he's, mm -hmm. he, I think he's just finally, I think he's finally happy that his work after all these years is finally getting recognized. Yeah. He's been in mainstream films, he's been in small films like the one he's being nominated for, The Last Station. Yeah. And he's just done such such a good job his whole career. I think, I think he's just happy that finally the Academy has seen him at last. Yeah. And you know, even Matt Damon, you know, he's still young. I think he's got a lot of opportunity ahead of him. Yeah. Uh, same with even Woody Harrelson. You know, he's finally proving that he can just, you know, he can almost go anywhere with the character and be cold with it, like he was in The Messenger. Yeah. Stanley Tucci, another villain. If, if you know what, if it wasn't for Christoph Waltz, I might have had to go with Stanley Tucci. Because yeah. again, this is a category that loves villains. Yeah. So. And Stanley Tucci was really good in a lot of the villains. He was. Well, but he he was. has a lot more to come. He really does. Stanley Tucci. I mean, he could have gotten a nomination for Julie and Julia as well, and just as well deserved. But, but um, my point is that he has such a wide range of characters, and this will not be the last that we see of Stanley Tucci. I also really like him in the Devil Wears Prada a few years back. Yeah. I thought he should have gotten a nomination yeah, for that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs>